Wow. Wow. Wow, this is this is some really deep stuff. I don't know what just happened, but something happened inside of me. Something snapped, something shaked. I wasn't expecting that either. Ah, uh, sorry. It's okay, it's all right. It's beautiful. <laughs> Monster is like really small, but it had to become that to stop me. Because I'm the hurt child. Became present when you mentioned it. And I didn't realize this until now. There were things that I didn't remember yeah. until now. It's funny, I haven't seen that before. It, it feels like I'm the monster. I'm kind of seeing images of things. Of a, of a world where they can exist. This clarity brings all kinds of answers. It's clear. She like hugged me and then went back to her place, I guess, in my heart. Oh, it wants to come out. <laughs> it wants the bippity boppity boop Cinderella me. Like, <laughs> she's like melted into like my chest. It's like ooey gooey. All week, been finishing things, cleaning up more, started eating vegetables again last week. <laughs> and it kind of just started happening. It's almost like I just finished going through a meditation session. I feel light. Like, you know, when you. When you hit that first joint, like in the morning, and you... I actually feel a lot more um, awake. How are you doing? Are you? How I'm doing? Um, yeah. You know, I feel... I feel heavy and vulnerable today. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I'm not alone, so I want to try not to raise my voice because uh, my daughter is back. Okay. And this apartment is small. I have, I'm in the room <laughs> with door mm-hmm. locked, but closed. I mean, but um, it's not the same kind of privacy. Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay. So I don't know if I really. I think my heaviness has kind of two components. Mm -hmm. One is related to her. And I really, I feel very hesitant about just talking too much about it because it's on, because it's on tape. And I feel kind of, I feel kind of, it's kind of a loyalty thing. Even if Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't think she would ever (laughs) end up. You would never know, right? Sure. Um, so that's part of it. Um, just to say she is very angry at me. Mm. And uh, it all has to do, it's the old saga with the the room that isn't the real room. I mean, it, I don't know if you remember the, the, the wall we built and all yes. that. Yeah. So anyway, so but so I have been trying to first I got really kind of overtaken by it or what was the word you use in IFS? I blended. I I blended with it. Yeah, I blended with mm-hmm. it. And then I had an epiphany. This is the first. This you know this probably I should. It just just came to me so clearly that this is her anger. I don't want it. I mean, it's not like she can have, I'll I'll let her have it, but I don't want it. I don't want to pick it up. Okay. Okay. You're talking about your daughter's anger? Yes. I don't want Mm -hmm. to pick it up. And um, so I'm kind of working on that now. I mean, that doesn't mean, you know, it's, it's, it just means that I'm kind of trying to, not take it in, right? It's mm-hmm. it, it, it's hers, and I understand where it's coming from and what it is. And I'm not trying to get her not to be angry because there's nothing I can do about it. Um, but 
nor do I want to drown in it, right? Yes. So that's that's one part of it. So I just wanted to I just wanted to, that as much as I want to get into that because otherwise it will. Otherwise, I think I kind of would, yeah. But I just wanted to get that out because otherwise it would kind of hover over whatever else we do. I think. Okay, great. Um, I also the, want to uh, offer to you that yeah. nothing ever needs to be published. Yeah. Um, yeah. So if you ever do want to talk about something off the record, I'm okay, okay with that. Okay. I kind of like That's to record. Good. I kind of like to record everything just by default because. Yeah. But but this doesn't mean it needs to be shared and I can yeah, throw it no, away. Or then you can cut, cut. No, okay. That that's good to know that that's I I I knew I had kind of that option, but mm -hmm. I didn't know how what you thought about it. I knew I could say it and you would honor it, but but now you are kind of offering it. Right. It's yes. it, 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 it kind of has, <laughs> has a different feel to it than me saying, yeah. don't do it, right? Yeah. No, it would, it would actually be really exciting for me. And, and I think, I, I don't mean exciting, like what a thrill. I mean, um, just to be able to, for you to feel safe to go wherever you want to go. And mm. if that opens up new things and enables you to do, do more work, that's, that's a win for me. Okay. Well, that, that's a very good way of putting it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Let's see. Um, but what this is, okay, so what this is triggering in me and it's relating to kind of related to some heaviness that I had, I had I've had for the last few weeks and and uh, last few weeks is um, It triggers in me, even if I say I don't want that anger, right? It's hers. I, I'll honor it, but it's not mine. Um, we are we are so close, or I am, her feelings are so close to mine, um, that it does trigger that confusion and shame that I am evil am i evil is like am i evil um am i really that bad nobody loves me i can't do anything right you know things we are so it really it triggers those it triggers that but i think uh, today i let's see if it works it, it may not work maybe this will come back and take over but i think I think I would like to try to focus on that, focus on shame in, mm -hmm. that is just, that is related to my, in my history that, that precedes her. I guess the see mm -hmm. where where we end up with it. Put it okay. that way. Okay. All right. And I don't know if you remember last time because it's a while ago. But we were working on. So I came to you and I said, "Oops." Somebody calling me, and I said, it "Must it's 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 a number. It's a number. I don't know. So it's probably just some some. Okay, I'm not picking it up. Okay, let's go. Just let it be beep 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 beep. Okay, so let's go ignore it because I don't know that number. Okay, so I came to you and I said, I have this voice inside me saying, don't stop me, don't stop me. Right. And." I don't really, and we would, and it's confusing to me because there is this protector or protector that is protecting something, right? Right. And 
And I think where we ended was that, what is it protecting? Yeah. And I said, it seems to be something shameful. That's right. And what it seems to me is that there are at least three layers there. And I don't really want to get stuck in that, but there seems to be an other protector, a junior protector, or a, 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 under this protector, whether it's okay. a, a junior one or a <laughs> senior, there, there is an other one that is pure shame. And so what I was looking into, it feels like was a protector that is just shame with capital bold neon colored letters. Actually, not neon colored, they're black, mm-hmm. but they're, they're mm-hmm. big anyway. And that okay. underneath there again, there is the exile. Oh, an exile, or maybe there is another protector in it. But there is, there is, it's, it's. So this, this, this protector that, this, this whatever being that was holding this "don't stop me" voice was holding it in a way for the exile. But at the same time, making sure that the pure shame protector, and then I won't do any more analysis, and then I won't just stop being analytical. This pure shame protector wasn't kind of killing me completely. That is kind of it. It 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 it, it, it was it was trying to make sure that the shame protector kind of kept kept. <sighs> kept the exile alive, but that that really muffled that don't stop me voice without killing it. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, it, it's, it's so convoluted, but that basically it seems like you have three things. And whether, I, I don't know exactly what they are, but there is something underneath this thing that is pure shame. And that shame has a function. And okay? you're saying, and you're saying that that pure shame feels like a protector? Yeah, it's okay. um, it. I have one. I have one question about it. Yeah, is it shaming, or is it maybe it's shaming? shaming full of shame. Probably, full of shame. It's shaming. It's shaming. Uh-huh. It's shaming. That's what yeah. it is. And um, I see. So before we start, I don't know which level we're going to work on, but if I see two really scared, it, it could be two really scared exiles behind that shaming. There are probably many more. But the ones that are really, what I see that that infant, but I'm, but the one that I can really feel is a seven year old. I can really feel, and I have been crying for her over these last two weeks because how shamed she felt. Mm-hmm. So. I don't know if it's better. I don't know where to situate myself right now Mm -hmm. to get. Because one thing that, yeah, to get it. Yeah. Uh, Maybe you could think about situating all of them around a table. mm -hmm. 
maybe on different sides for the ones that might be opposing each other. Mm -hmm. Just see if you can ask who needs your attention first. Okay. There's no wrong answer. Hmm? There's no wrong answer. No, there's no wrong answer. answer. I, I got, I just, I just, I'm seeing the table and it seems like there are three generations sitting there. Mm-hmm. And I know that they are all me, but it almost seems like that the one we were touching on last time was almost like my grandfather who was saying something like saying to my mother, who is the big shaming one, don't press her too hard. You know, don't be too harsh. You know, don't kill her. Right. Mm -hmm. And and then I, or or the exile is also sitting there, which is the one being shamed. It's almost like just three generations, but I know they're all me, but it's almost like, so, it's, I think it's, okay, so the, the one I feel closest to is that exile. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because she is so lost. And when you say feel closest, does that mean you're also kind of feeling lost or does it mean you see her most clearly? I see her most clearly because Mm -hmm. I, I can see her suffering. I can see her total despair. Okay. So if if it feels like you'd like to work with her first, you could kind of check that out with the protectors or any parts that are around. Just what do they think about giving you space to work with her? Hmm. Do they trust you? No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, All they right. don't actually. Okay. I think because what I'm hearing is that they are saying, and there is more, you know, there, there I mean, Okay. What what they are saying, and it's 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 the shame and what and, and all the protective things that shame does, right? It it can tranquilize, it can you know, it can yeah, do, numb, it can make be a defensive mechanism, whatever. Mm-hmm. But but all those protectors are saying. She doesn't understand us. It means the exile. She has no understanding of why we are here, why we are pushing so hard. Okay. The exile doesn't understand them? Yeah, yeah, they are saying the exile doesn't understand. And if you go to her first... You won't understand. 
Yeah. So they feel like you don't fully understand them? Yes. Okay. And also, I think they're saying, if you go to her first, what you will want to do is to kick us out. Right. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. If they're just enemies in our way, mm -hmm. then that would make sense. And yeah. if we don't, if we don't understand them, it's easy for it's easy to see them like that. Yeah, yeah. So, so which of these protectors? I think it's the one. Okay, so the what? It's the one that makes. It's the one that makes her feel so unbelievably shameful that she cannot even look at it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how do you feel towards that part that does that? kind of see that I kind of, you know, I, I kind of see that it, you know, that it <sighs> fulfilled the purpose Okay. Of protecting that in and that, that that little girl from getting it's how do you feel towards it? That's how I feel towards it. It I I, I, I just my, okay. So I I don't reject it. I I don't feel rejection towards it. Mm -hmm. Um. But I am asking it, why were you so heavy handed? Yeah, um, mm -hmm. I think we could find out. Because I see that I, I am curious about that. I mm -hmm. see that you had a purpose and I see that you probably did help her survive. Mm -hmm. But yeah. was it necessary to be so heavy handed? We can it's find a question. Out. It's a question. Oh. Yeah. So you're feeling curious? Yeah, I am. I am curious. I am curious about that. Okay. So see if you can ask the other parts if they'll give you space so that you can kind of be alone with this one. See, the exile is okay with it. Um. Yeah, this, I think the the one that I really don't really know how to know what to label the one that we worked on last time that kind of was covering this this shaming part. Mm -hmm. I think that part is okay with it too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Others may pop up, but I don't see them right now. Great. Great. Yeah, so just let this part know that you're feeling curious, that you've made this space. Yeah. And that you're ready to hear whatever it is that she wants you to know.
Well, it is saying that it had to make it had it it had to completely bury or fill up that little girl with shame Mm -hmm. to kind of immobilize her and also to provide some kind of reason for what why why she why she was abandoned in that way So it had to tell her that she was unlovable, Mm -hmm. yucky, untouchable, Mm -hmm. smelly, whatever Mm -hmm. else she was. Does this part like doing that? No, no, it doesn't like doing that. It 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 no. feels it it. Wow! It loves this little girl. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that, mm-hmm. but it does. <sighs> and it just wants to save her. Yeah. To protect her. How are you feeling towards the part now? Yeah, I see that. And do you know what would happen if she didn't do this job? If she didn't do this job? Yeah, if she didn't immobilize the little girl. That little girl would be so overcome by despair. She would be so overcome by this. Despair, she wouldn't be able to move. She wouldn't be able to stand up. She would lose all hope. Mm -hmm. But I think that part kind of so my what it seems like no no I'm talking I am talking it seems like it had to put a still. It's saying it had to do this to protect her, otherwise. But what it did was that it put re- the responsibility for the whole situation on her, on that little girl. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I 
And what would happen again? What would happen if the little girl didn't take responsibility uh, or assume responsibility for it? If she didn't assume responsibility for it, and, you know, it, it's 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 very you know, like I said, like I said before, she would be so full of despair, she wouldn't be able to stand up. Right. That's right. one way. That's one way of looking at it. At the other way of looking at it is, if she realized that this had nothing of this was her fault. She realized that she wasn't like this. Maybe she would have become so angry. She would have smashed the windows. She mm -hmm. would have gone completely berserk. Yep. The two completely. And I guess this part didn't know what she would do. Well, she if the little, eat, if the little girl were to do that oh, in the environment that she was in, she couldn't do that. She couldn't. Mm -hmm. I and mean, that would be life threatening, wouldn't it? It, it would be life threatening. Mm -hmm. And since it probably wouldn't get her anywhere, except from being punished. It might just then the cycle would, would the despair, then the despair would come. Either either despair would be first, that she would lay on the floor and be a wet, whatever, mm -hmm. or she would first kind of just blow up. And then nothing good would come out of that. And then she would reach that despair anyway. Because there's both, there's both anger. So. Okay. So it seems like this part was just piling on. But the part was was preempting, was being proactive with it, wasn't wasn't it? It was being proactive, but it didn't mm -hmm. because it was safer for it to do that shaming. It's a safe it was safer for it to do the shaming. And for the little girl to take responsibility for her situation. Yeah. Suddenly, I, I, the, the, there is a confusion right now in me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the confusion is. that this part was telling her that she was all these awful things. Mm -hmm. But then the shaming numbed her. Maybe, maybe it could do everything. I mean, if it told her all these awful things and the shaming numbed her, no, 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 no. She just felt all this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You could just ask the part if you if you're still unclear in how how her role accomplished what it did. Yeah. 
or at least the intention? Well, I the in, okay. It's maybe maybe it's me who, who, who wants to see a clear picture. But if I ask her or it, maybe maybe mm-hmm. that's a her too. She's saying that she's doing it to keep that little girl alive. Okay. Right. So there was a concern for the actual physical health and safety. Mm-hmm. And by shaming her, she provided a reason for why she was in the situation she was in. And does that make sense to you? Yes. That makes sense to me. Mm-hmm. Because if she hadn't, if if that little girl hadn't seen that reason, like I said, she... okay, that two, that, that two parts that are connected. If, if that little girl didn't see that reason and was just then she would be totally overcome by despair. At the Mm -hmm. same time, I don't know if I need to know all this. At the same time, by giving her full responsibility, So that there were nobody else to blame, kept her from her, kept her from exploding in anger. I'm still confused because that just seems like two different things to me. But I maybe they, that doesn't. They sound to... like two different things, and they also they both make sense to me. It wasn't it wasn't safe for the girl to explode in anger. No, that was not safe. And if the little girl didn't take responsibility, then she would and see she... who else might be responsible. Yeah. And that that would be overwhelming despair. Yeah. So despair and anger, yeah. Doesn't matter which one comes first. Either could she could go either way, or she could go one way and then the other way after. And all of this is normal. to have parts that do that shaming and attack attack inwardly so that we're protected from being attacked from the outside. So this part is saying right now that it's it understood that that what it was doing it created a lot of suffering. But right. it didn't see it didn't know any other way to do it. Of course, it it didn't know how it could help without causing suffering. Because it, that what was important was to keep her alive. But yeah. it could it could yeah. It I don't could know any feel, other way either. Yeah. 
I don't know any other way for a five-year-old to or a seven-year-old to live in a dangerous situation like that without that she has that she has to rely on without internalizing and <sighs> having parts that keep her anger down, keep her wants down. And convince her that there must be something wrong with her because the alternative is that she's something's something's wrong with the people around her. In addition to all, to all this, well, in the midst of all this shaming, even when she was seven, the, you know, the sexual shaming was part of this. And was there a reason for that too? Well, this okay. just get it from part, the part. The yeah. part is trying to prevent her from looking into something really awful. And if I ask the part, do you think that the seven-year-old could have an inner memory of the of the infant? She's saying maybe. Yeah. Even of course it was <laughs> like it should be expressed because So to keep her from looking into something really awful, does she also use that sexual shaming? Mm-hmm. Do you want to know the story? <laughs> I don't need to know the story. You don't need to know the story? Not oh, that's incredible. Mm. No? All these no, I think, happened... I think this, this part needs for you to know its story. Mm -hmm. It needs for you to understand why it did what it did at the time yeah. that it did with the information it had, with the resources it had at the age of seven. Mm -hmm. And this, this happened less than a year, between six and 12 months after after the abduction or the like I say, kidnapping. Mm -hmm. So this little seven-year-old was just in such a precarious situation already. Mm -hmm. So this was actually her stick. And she, at this time, she went into, it seems to me, her second major childhood depression. The first one when, 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 this, when this all happened, when, when, when my mother took us, when, it was, when I she was six, she immediately everything got dark. And same same happened this time. Everything got dark. She just walked around like a zombie for three weeks. She walked around like a zombie. 
darted around. There's no interest in anything. I can see it. <sighs> Fucking crown up. She was in a hospital. <laughs> Why didn't those people see it? The healthcare providers. She was walking around like a zombie. She was supposed to the school classes there, there were art classes there, whatever it was. She just walked around, bumped into the walls. Did nothing. How's the shaming part feeling about you understanding it and it's trust in you now to work with that young girl? No, it does feel more confident now because I'm not blaming that part for anything. And I see that that part did what it felt it had to do with the resources it had it had available to it. And yeah, you could take it a step <laughs> further and celebrate that yeah, part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, took, it, it, it may kept have her alive. actually kept you alive. It may have actually kept me alive, yeah. Alive, yeah. Being a zombie kept me alive. Yeah. No, it probably did. It did. It did keep me alive. But it kept me from feeling. Just kind of having this, what I had was this kind of internal despair that I couldn't really touch on, right? It was always there. Let's suck up all my energy, but I didn't really feel very much, except for this um, this pain or despair that I was sitting in my body. Yeah, it did give me a life. If I hadn't been a zombie, I would have been a lunatic. I would have. Mm-hmm. I don't know how brave I would have been if I would have jumped out the window. Yeah. I wouldn't have been brave enough to do that. But well, that's you never know. That's overwhelming despair, right? Overwhelming despair yeah. can lead to suicidality. Yeah. 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 Even in little kids, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, maybe especially little kids because they don't. Yeah, I don't even even have to go that. that, that they don't kill people. What will happen if I fall so and so many meters down? Will I, you know, they just do it. So this part doesn't like doing this job. Loves no, the little girl. Not. Yeah. And has felt like it needs to continue doing this. Mm-hmm. But you can offer it for you to help the little girl. And you could ask this part what it would rather be doing if you were able to do that. And if it didn't have to keep shaming, what would it rather be doing with its energy? Hmm. That's so interesting. It's almost like I said, it said, I would rather sit on a bench in a playground and watch children play. Yeah. She loves kids. She loves kids. She does. She wants to keep them alive. She'd rather just sit there and just smile and take in and wonder without having to. She wants to be more an observer than an enforcer. And then she wants to take a bubble bath. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why? But that, that just came. I don't know if that was just, yeah, just came. With lots of bubbles, lots of bubbles. Mm-hmm. So you could ask her what else she needs from you to trust you in doing that. Or what else she wants from you just in your relationship with her? 
two good questions. She. Okay. As for the first one, what what I need, what she needs for me to trust me to go directly to the little girl. She needs me to be able to be the grown up in the room and not mesh with her or blend with her. And she needs me to be able to listen to that little girl and not even how well-meaning it is not to try to make decisions for her what's better for her. Then she needs me to never drop that little girl. Hmm. But she can run away if she wants to, but that's if I go down, go, if I do this, I, I can't just, it can't be anything fleeting. It has to be a commitment. I have to stay there, even if there's a hurricane. So she has somebody to come back to, even if she goes away. Mm -hmm. I can't lose hope, lose faith. And then to be able to accept everything I hear and learn. In relationship to the shaming part, to Do not push it away, not put it into the closet and lock the door, but recognize that it's there, even if it doesn't show up very much, to kind of respect it for what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, and then give it bed to sleep in, food, you know, just make sure that it's... It's part of the family too. Yeah, yeah, to honor it, even if it's, even if it stays in the background, to treat it with respect. Yeah. Okay. Got a list of I got a list of those requests. So are you up for can you commit to do you feel like you're the right person to not blend with her and other parts when you go to the exile?
That was her first think, request. Uh, yeah, I think I can do that. I will have deep empathy and compassion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do it. It but, takes and it takes practice, and you've been practicing. Yeah. yeah. And if I do, then we catch it. Then we catch it, and we can, you know, we can take a step back, and we can say we're sorry. We did, you know. Yeah. And have we done? Are are we are we good at that? Hmm? Maybe this, maybe I was asking if we're good at that. If we're good at catching parts yeah. when. Okay, I, I feel like we have I, been. I think I think we are. I think, yeah, I I think it's it's harder when I'm by myself, but sure. I'm getting better at it, I think. Yeah. Um this part wants you to listen to the little girl and don't make decisions for her. Yeah. That's something I have to be constantly reminded of. Because I, I want to take her out of there. Right. Yes. And I'm sure I'm sure she wants to get out of there, so <laughs> so we'll get there. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. I I may need to be reminded, but that's what I, that's my intention. That's what I want. To never drop the little girl. No, I will never drop her. <sighs> so that she can or, keep coming back to you. Yeah. For whatever she needs. <sighs> to stay available. There are parts of me, okay. So my heart is saying yes, right? And then there are parts that are saying, what if she comes and kind of disturbs you when you're doing something else that you would rather be doing, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As all parts do, right? <laughs> <laughs> they're always they're always popping up. So yeah, what if? What if she's being inconvenient? What if she's being convenient? Yeah, she's coming in the, you know, she's coming in the middle of me having my moment on this on the stage or whatever, whatever stage mm -hmm. that would be, right? Yes. Will I disown own her then, or will I still see tell her? along the lines of not making decisions for her, it might be something that you negotiate with her. Yeah. yeah. You know, maybe we don't, maybe we don't know because she hasn't told us what she wants you to do in those situations. It, you know, it's like, um, I just got this picture of this image and it's, you know, like me being on the stage and giving a speech, which I probably wouldn't do. But let's say I was on the stage giving a speech mm -hmm. and then I had a child who was kind of having a temper tantrum was sitting yes. in the audience. Yes. And would I ignore that kid then or would I say, oh, that, that's my little child. She's having a temper tantrum right now. But, you know, yeah, I, I have to talk to her for a couple of minutes and just wait everybody patiently, <laughs> you know, to recognize that she is there. Mm-hmm. Instead of trying, oh, she's not mine. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. My kid is having a temper tantrum when I'm trying to have my shining moment. Yeah. Just honoring the parts that are up in you when they're up in you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think what, what you just said, if that happens, what I want is to be able to, like, like you said, negotiate with her and ask her, how urgent is this? Yeah, wouldn't that be nice if 
Yeah. If you had that communication with her, yeah, she could can say, you, "Oh, yeah, this is. I can wait a minute. I can wait a minute. I, 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 I can wait a minute. You finish what you're doing right now. You know, I can mm-hmm. wait because I know you are here for me. But I also see that you are busy, right? Yeah, yeah. So not dropping her doesn't mean holding her hand all the time. No, no. It's, Because I heard something yesterday. Now I'm going a little out of it. But I heard something yesterday that I thought was super interesting. And that is that you can't feel both creativity and fear at the same time. Mm-hmm. If you're going to be creative, if, 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 the creative if, if the creative parts of you are going to blossom... Mm-hmm. then you need to have a relationship with the fear. The fear will won't go away, but you need to mm-hmm. have a relationship with the fear so that, you know, the fear will be on, you know, there the, the needs to be an understanding, whatever understanding right. that is, right. right? Because if the fear comes in and takes over, then the creativity is out the window, right? Because right. they're paralyzed. Mm-hmm. Or, And this yeah. is not exactly like that, but it's like, well, she has a lot of fear anyway. So, you know, if, mm-hmm. so, so, so in some way there being some kind of negotiation, like, okay, how urgently do you need me now? Can you wait five minutes? Mm-hmm. I, I see you, I hear you, but I, I can't attend to you right now because I, right now I'm doing something else that's important also also important to me. It doesn't mean that you are less important. Yeah. We could also maybe say that because of the fear of the protectors, Mm -hmm. we haven't been able to get creative in working with the exile. They're afraid. They've been afraid of going there or been afraid of what might come up out of her. And so the creative solutions Mm -hmm. haven't been available. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, because if so, if I don't honor that, it's, so it's you know. So if as so I need to honor the fear, I kind of have a have it have a relationship with those fears and recognize that they are there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, and that. That kind of leads to the last request of this protector was mm-hmm. don't don't shut me up. Yeah. To honor sure. me and respect me. Yeah. Yeah. No, you did an awesome job. Yeah. I'll, I'll never forget that. Right. And I'm also in awe of the self-awareness that it has that it realized that (sighs) the self-awareness and the compassion that it has, that it it realizes that it did what it had to do, but that it also caused suffering and it felt kind of bad for that, but but it was the best it could do. No, I won't. You'll, you'll, you'll always be there. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's probably times where you, you will you will play a more active role too in my in my current life. You're there. Yeah, and look how valuable it's been when this part is active and when you get alone with it and learn about it mm-hmm. and how suddenly that pain that that annoyance or you know why the hell is this thing doing this to me mm-hmm. suddenly becomes 
it can be seen for for the value it provides. So when it so when it comes up in the future, now that you've established this relationship with it, it could be a right. lot easier to do. Yeah. And instead of instead of it being a pain, it can be it can be, oh, this this will be interesting. What am I what will, what will, will I learn next? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And oh what, what, what oh I know I I would oh, oh, would it be great if I could say Oh, you're there for a purpose, aren't you? You're protecting yeah. me. Huh. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. 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 Hmm. Great. So could send a message to the, to the little girl that you're on your way. I'm on my way. And I just looked mm -hmm. at the time and I see that it's cold. This is probably where we, where we need to start. Okay. I feel, don't you think so? Because, or do yeah, you think? I think there's a fine place to stop. I think that this protective part might have more to show you. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, it's been such a change in mm. this brief time in in how you've seen this part. Yeah, and I, I see, I've seen why it needed to do what it did. And I've also... In a way, I looked into, even if I haven't talked to the exile yet, I look, right. I, I see her in a little bit different light in that before it was like she was a victim of this protector. Mm -hmm. She was kind of buried in the layers and layers of shame, right? And instead, it's almost like she had an ally in a way. Somebody was looking looking out for her, which, you know, I don't know where this is leading me, but it takes away some of the, not that it, alleviate what she went through and she was a victim of because she was a little girl but even so it gives the job her of rescuing more, her looks differently different. yeah it gives yeah it kind of gives she's just, not just a victim she's not just a she's victim a, that yeah. she's a person right. with agency right right and helping her out will, will be more nuanced and more, and will take into account her personality, her, who she is as a person, rather than just, oh, she has this bad thing on her, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna rip it off and. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it makes it. It even makes it. It seems like it will make make it easier for me to be patient and listen right. to her, and not try to make decisions because she's not just. A, She's not just a helpless vict victim, even if, mm -hmm. even if she couldn't change her own situation, she also, you know. Right. Right. Yeah, they're, they're all like that. They're, all these parts have that kind of personhood mm -hmm. um, that we only see when we, when we do this. Yeah. Yeah. And this was, this was, this, that was really good. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, I hope I hope we get to do it again sometime soon. And yeah, you you are, you are such a. I have appointments with you, but I think it's in two weeks. But okay. that's okay. I think. 
you know, you you are you you are so popular that you that you know your calendar is all filled up. But that yeah. early 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 June sometime. I don't remember the date. But. Okay. Well, you can always reach out. I know that you did that, and I well, I wasn't available, but yeah, I, I don't I, hesitate yeah. to ask. Thank you, thank you. No, no, I mean because the worst the worst thing you can say is no. And that leaves me in the same place. It's not taking anything away from me. Maybe yeah. I bothered you, but well, it really that, doesn't. In fact, something. it's 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 uh, you know I'm bothered that I don't have time. Like it it's it honor. I'm honored by it. You know I want to do this, and it's a great thing that it's a great thing for me that people want it. Like that's I, I like hearing that. So. <laughs> So it doesn't bother me to hear that. No, oh, thank you. That that makes it easier to easier to ask. Thank you. Yeah. Because you know, you, 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 you I would I would understand if you just ignored ignore the email and didn't answer me to this to this test so you again too. That I would understand that I wouldn't hold that against you either. So of course. Mm-hmm. Well, if I ever ignore your email, it's because I don't check email. Yeah. So I try not yes. to. Anyway. Email is a curse. Okay. Have a great night Thank you too. and talk soon. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. bye. Do you want to help bring more self energy to the world? If you'd like to participate in calls or help out with this project in any way, I'd love to hear your ideas. Join the Discord server or contact me at james at liveifs.com. A huge thanks to our audio engineer, Ivan, for your care and diligence in editing the calls. To every caller for your courage in sharing some of your parts. And to anyone out there getting to know their internal system, keep going. Who knows, that might be the most selfless, helpful thing you can do for others and you're the only one who can do it. If you'd like to see us reach the largest audience, we must please the almighty suggestion algorithms at iTunes and YouTube, and they don't care about the power of IFS. They're looking for likes and shares and comments, and the sooner the better. Follow the links in the show notes right here in your podcast player to make your wishes known. And now, a minute of meditation. Or if you prefer, pull over. You can do it in 60 seconds. Just click one of those links. They're right there. And give us a like or a five-star rating. It would really help. If you think this project is helping people, you're helping people by sharing it. Thank you.